This... this cannot be. Is it really possible? I sense the mark of the water dragon upon you. You have returned! You don't recognize me? No, of course not. You were just an infant when you were taken from us. I am the spirit of Abbot Song, slain many years ago by the glorious strategist. Before my death, I was the head of the Spirit Monk Order, your order. Master Li, he is Sun Li, the traitor. How out of balance the world has become when one of our order believes Sun Li to be his master. You are a Spirit Monk. Born here in Dirge, and cleansed in the sacred fountains. You were an infant the day the Emperor and Sun Li attacked our monastery. I tried to save you from the slaughter, only to lose you to Li when he ripped you from the arms of your dying guardian. I can only imagine what lies and distortions he told you about Dirge, your heritage, and his own role in events here. But now, you deserve to hear the truth. Thirty years ago, the long drought struck the land. For a decade, crops withered and died. Starving people across the Empire demanded that something be done. Despite his position, Emperor Sun Hai could not alter the natural order. He demanded that his brother, the glorious strategist, concoct a plan to rectify this insult. Through Sun Li's cunning, the armies of the Emperor laid siege to the gates of Dirge. They came to seize the Water Dragon's power and her life-giving waters. The soldiers of the Imperial Army swarmed over us, too many to count. My spirit monks fought bravely, but I knew the battle was lost. We were beaten. All around me, my fellow spirit monks were dying. I tried to hold the attackers at bay. Prince Kin attacked me. And then, Master Li cut me down from behind. The Emperor ascended unopposed, but already Sun Li and Prince Kin plotted against him. The glorious strategist was not content to watch his brother come to power. Emperor Sun Hai, ruler of the Jade Empire, stepped beyond his station and slew the Water Dragon, claiming her power for his own. His brothers tried to strike him down, but they could not know he would be so strong. Infused with the Water Dragon's power, he was now unbelievably powerful. Sun Li escaped with his life, but he left his brother, Prince Kin, to suffer the Emperor's terrible vengeance. A spirit monk child still lived. He killed your guardian. Claiming his identity, no longer a servant of the Emperor, he abandoned his fearsome armor to become the master you thought you knew. If you and the Amnet were the key to defeating his brother, he might still claim that power. Lee disappeared with you and the amulet, 
escaping the emperor's retribution. With his newfound power, the emperor is a taunt to his traitorous brother, bound kin spirit to the armor Lee had left behind. And death's hand was born. You were the last of the spirit monks. Sun Lee saw our attempt to save you as confirmation of your importance. He believed you were meant to restore what he helped steal. He trained you to be an instrument of vengeance, an agent to succeed where he and Prince Kin had failed. But with your death, the Emperor is now invincible. And the glorious strategist has won. You were the last of the spirit monks. But now you are just a ghost like the rest of us. No one is left to oppose Sun Li. You spoke with the water dragon? Of course! Only she could guide your spirit to dirge, while all others must wander the mortal world. I worried that our last hope had died with you, but now I see you have come to restore the Fountains of Dirge. The first step in restoring the Water Dragon herself. As leader of the Spirit Monks in life, I am bound by honor and duty to aid you in this task. I swear, I will not abandon you until the Fountains of Dirge are restored. I can guide you here in Dirge, this lost home of yours. I know the monastery well, and will do everything in my power to help you restore the fountains. The fountains were tainted with human blood, which shattered their seals. The blood that stained them is gone. Replacing the seals should restore them. I know the monastery well. If there are questions you wish to ask in your quest to restore the fountains, I will do my best to answer them. I would be honored to help you learn more about our order and your legacy. Many of our order were brought to us as children, orphans we raised to serve our great mistress. But a few children are born here at the monastery. Both your mother and father were spirit monks. You were born right here in Dirge and bathed in the sacred fountains, mere days before we were destroyed. Both your mother and father died in the attack, along with the rest of us who served the Water Dragon. They were good people. Their love for each other was matched only by their devotion to the Water Dragon herself. Had they survived, you would have been raised here in Dirge. They would have instructed you from birth in the duties of a spirit monk. It is a tragedy you never knew them. We serve the Water Dragon as her guardians and protectors. We sought the needs of her physical form, maintained dirge, and honored her with worship and prayer. We also served as shepherds for the dead. Most spirits came to Dirge in time, but sometimes a spirit was unable or unwilling to leave the mortal world behind. We would seek out these lost spirits. Those with unfinished business or those who had suffered traumatic deaths would need our help to reach Dirge. But now that the Water Dragon is gone, none of the spirits can find their way to Dirge. And those already here 
are trapped. The portal to the afterlife is sealed. Dirge is a place between. It exists in both the mortal world and the spirit realm, and it leads to the underworld itself. It is a bridge between life and death. Once it was a holy place, but now it is defiled. Dirge has become a place of great evil and corruption, a corruption that has been growing for the past 20 years. I will do my best to answer whatever questions you might have. The amulet is an artifact of great power, though few truly understand its nature. What do you wish to know? The amulet is a powerful tool, but it is only a tool. When you were first learning to unleash the power within you, the amulet helped you to focus your mind and energy. But you are a spirit monk. The power of the water dragon was always in you, not in the amulet. Now you are strong enough to draw on that power without the amulet. It is a tool and a focus. It allows you to understand the power you can wield, and to use the essence gems that so many discount as trinkets. We alone can draw on more than one gem at a time. You can do this, even without the physical amulet, now that you know your true nature. You no longer need the amulet, but Lee has a use for it. Lee's brother, Sun Hai, consumed the Water Dragon's power, but without the amulet, it was a long and slow process. Even after twenty years, he was not strong enough to defeat you. Had the Lotus Assassins brought him enough pieces of the amulet, he would have been far more powerful. But Sun Li has the amulet, making him far more dangerous. With it, he can draw on the Water Dragon's power much faster. Unless you stop him soon, he will become invincible. I did not want the amulet to fall into the hands of our enemy. When I realized the battle was lost, I shattered it into several pieces. I gave the pieces to my apprentices, and told them to flee to the farthest reaches of the Empire. The core of the amulet was given to the young monk who fled with you. I knew the core alone would be enough for you to start discovering your true power. But anyone else would need to find all the pieces to use the amulet. I will do my best to answer whatever questions you might have. Only that you should do as the Water Dragon asked, and try to restore the Fountains of Dirge. You are probably right. We must restore the Water Dragon's power before Sun Li gains full command of her powers.